So, welcome to another episode of Broken Rock. This is part seven, I believe. So, this is actually the town of Broken Rock. I'll just zoom up so you can see it. Look at that there. It's only small, but it's getting there. They've got some stuff going on. Uh, they've now got a saloon for the ladies of the night to work. It's pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I'm sad to say, the Tallahassee Riders are no more. Um, they recruited some new guys who actually muscled in and took over their gang. Um, and I'm going to get Alan to explain all the details of that and then we'll go into what we're doing today. So, Al of Anne, if you want to just tell us yep. what's been happening. You want to swing around here? So, what had happened, as you'll probably recall from the, from the last episode, if you watched that, you may not have watched that. There's... <laughs> the voices. Um, as you may recall from the last episode, uh, the Tallahassee Riders are no more. <laughs> Don't that, please. Um... Yeah, they, they, they had a terrible time in Flipside, they died out, the, well, the majority of them did. A couple of the survivors, as we saw, we, they went into the saloon, sal, saloon, I keep wanting to say salon. They went, uh, into, they went the into the saloon. They uh, recruited some more guys, um, however, the, one of the guys that they recruited, it, which was uh, John Blackjack Goldridge, he's uh, kind of usurped power, he's taken control, um, he's rebranded them as the Goldridge Gang. And what he's done is he's um, alerted them, or he's informed them, that his brother, Blind Bold Bill <laughs> Goldridge, has been taken prisoner in Broken Rock. So their first um, mission out is going to be to free John Blackjack's brother. Cool. And as you can see here, there that fine filly of a man is there, locked up in his wagon. Now this, <coughs> yeah, I don't know. I went with it. I don't. It's a female horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that one through. I digress slightly. But anywho, we are using the standard rules for a jailbreak, except instead of using the jail, because it's over yonder, up in far corner, as you can see here. The jail. Instead, he's being carted over to the jail. On this little wagon, unfortunately, the horses have been shot out by a mysterious set of bandits, which turns out to actually be cowboys, not bandits at all. Um, the sheriff's already out of town. From what I gather, he's rounding up other criminal types. Maybe he's chasing the, the roses. That sounds oh, like the sort he's chasing of... those roses. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> he's heard the gunfire, so he, he knows something's afoot. That's a bit Sherlock Holmesy. But yes... He knows something's afoot anyway, and he's coming back. Um, as things happen, we'll come back into the game. So it might be two, three turns before we do a little update. Might be one turn. Depends what's going down. But, as always... But what we'll... we've got here, just for the setup, we do have the Goldridge uh, gang. So this is uh, Blackjack. He's the guy who's taking control. He's um, John Blackjack Goldridge. He's taking control of this gang. Uh, we are accompanied with uh, <laughs> bragging Frank Barnes. He's a cowboy with two six guns. We have uh, Randy Rick Coombs. He's got a six gun and a knife. And over at that far end there, we've got young Yancey McKinney. Uh, he's a young lad. He's got a repeating rifle and a six gun. He looks a little bit like April O'Neil from the Twilight. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> But it's a bold fashion statement. Let's see how this works out for him. I imagine he's gone for the sand look. And he's thought, we fight in the desert a lot, I'll wear yellow. Yeah. I like it, I like it. And then of course, we, we tragically know the saviors as is. So who have we got starting on the board today? We have two, two of the deputies, the kid and Duke. And with them is a henchman known as Doc. Who was a good thing from the start. Absolutely, and then coming onto the board, hopefully quite quickly on. We uh, have the sheriff, uh, a vigilante called Steed, who was promoted to hero for his valor, and we have Old Pops, who's also a new member of the crew. Ah, we haven't seen Old Pops in the game yet, have we? we? Have not. Fantastic, so let's get into it. We've met the crews, or posses. We know the scenario, let's see how things play out. 
Hopefully, Alan doesn't lose his whole posse in don't this one game. That. I said hopefully, like I don't want it to happen, because you, you waste you gang you sheets. Can't you can't be you. It's can't not, it's the gang sheet thing, although you, you did you. pronounce them all, so I'm okay with you destroying a few. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get down to it and see how things unfold. Yeah, yeah I fine. like that, like the opposite of fold. But yes, <laughs> anyway, we're digressing. That's not like Again. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what's happening. Uh, we'll cut all of this. It's so, uh, we're a couple of turns in now. Everybody's on the board, finally. The sheriff took a while to get there. Obviously, he was further away than he thought. Sound must travel pretty well in Broken Rock. It's probably the way it's shaped in the acoustics or something. I don't know. I'm not a sound Eliza, sound engineer. A guy who deals like, with sound. It's like the Sydney Opera House of Valleys. Absolutely, it is. Um, we have a couple of guys down as well. We have, I don't know the name of your new people yet, so this guy. What colour is he? Um, uh, no, that's racist. No. <laughs> um, what colour is his coat? I don't see colour. He's brown. I, I only see gender. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> he is, uh, that's bragging Frank Barnes. Well, so he hasn't got a lot to brag about at the moment. He's and just lying on the floor. Also here, the kid went down in an epic little shootout where old sneaky red coat there popped around the corner and That's took Randy a shot. Rick. Randy Rick. I didn't name him. Randy um, Rick. <laughs> took a shot at the kid. Um, the kid's gone down now. Um, other than that, it's been pretty even. We've got old Stinky Pete. Come on, I mean old... Old Pops. Old Pops come on the board now. Uh, where's your sheriff? Where's he gone? He's in there, tactical cover, and then steed. So yeah, so far it's still all to play for. No one's even got close to the wagon. That jailer's there just going, oh, people are shooting near me. Mm -hmm. I want a burrito. People loved oh. burritos back then. Oh, could we get burritos? <laughs> no burritos for you. Maybe if you rescue your chap. You sound like my GP. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get back to it and see where... Things occur. Alan's close to starting to take pluck tests. I believe the lawmen need to, is it one more, two one more? more? One more. So they're both at pretty the much, a, yeah, years are at the same point. Um, just the way the percentages work. But yes, again, digression. Uh, we'll come back in a bit after some dice have been rolled. So the fight is over. The new gang of what they're called? Uh, the Goldridge gang. Yep, the fleeing rats, as they're also known, um, <laughs> ran away. However, uh, the reason we didn't do any more filming was because it was such an intense back and forth battle. Um, I think about, was it five people went down in total? Yeah. I uh, Oh, so. I lost two. So yeah, so fine. five in total. Um, it was just one of those ones where we were really into it. There was a couple of times we actually forgot initiative. So yeah. it was just like, I've gone, your turn to go. Um, and it just went back and forth, but it was a really, really good game. We're now at the stage where we're going to be rolling to see who dies and stuff. So we'll come back afterwards and let you know exactly what happened with all that. Um, Long story short, though. Yep. Um, Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> blindfold Bill, that was his name. Still didn't get rescued. Still didn't Why get rescued. Um, I've heard he's really good with a six gun and he can actually... Hit someone from 50 oh, yeah. yards whilst blindfolded. Yeah, that, that, that'll work. I was going to say it was going to be kinky. <laughs> yeah, that's also a potential. It's how he's known in the, um, in the, in the uh, ladies' house. So, yeah, let's see who's going to join these guys in the graveyard. Pretty much all of my people. Wah, right bah, bah. Dom, dom, dom. Right, okay, let's do this. Yeah, so uh, we'll be back in a bit and let you know exactly what went down, as it were. So, we've done all our experience, they've done their roles, nobody died, that's always a positive. However, uh, which was it? Was it Duke? What, that ended up with everyone with him? Yeah. Yeah. Duke's basically a pincushion, he got five injuries on the multiple wounds chart. He's got a limp, he's got a bad hand, what else did he get? Uh, he got minus one movement, minus one fighting. Minus one pluck, uh, he's hardened, and he's up as madness now. Oh yeah, because your guys are slowly going insane. <laughs> yeah, no, oh my. <laughs> so he's actually recruited two new people who were quite normal. Uh, what are they called? They are called Envy Bob 
and buckstone. There you go. They are both armed with fist guns and shotguns. Cool. Now, Alan got nobody died. Nobody picked up any kind of treacherous injuries. Nope. He also has hired a new person. What's that person called and what are they armed with? Uh, we have Sincere Seth Jackson. Uh, he's armed with a shotgun and a six gun. Ah, uh, nice. So yes, that was once again um, the next sort of instalment in our story, I guess. I have heard, however, that the roses lawless roses in this case have been spreading some awful big lies <laughs> and laughing about the failed rescue attempt <laughs> um so you never know they might try and get some kind of retribution but yeah as it stands they handed him in uh, what's his name who was it, it was blindfold pete blindfold bill yeah so they handed blindfold bill in he paid the four dollar fine and they let him go so all of that bloodshed over four dollars because he jaywalked in front of a horse um, we haven't checked whether officially jaywalking was a crime because he didn't have traffic lights. But we assume walking in front of a horse was still bad. It was the king's horse. Maybe not the king. I don't know why he was over king? here. <laughs> I don't yeah. know why he was over here. <laughs> Apparently he's inviting the king over now. He's come down to Broken Rock. It was probably something to do with Otto Goodman. and That Otto was, was a bit the, the king of Uganda. Not oh, Uganda. right. Yeah, so digression again. <laughs> But, yeah, so our next instalment looks like it's going to be the Lawless Roses taking on the Tallahassee, not Tallahassee Riders. <laughs> Goldridge Gang Boy. Goldridge Gang. The Goldridge Gang Bangers. Goldridge Gang Banger Boys. The Goldridge <laughs> Gang Banger Boys. Uh, yeah, but those guys. So, with as always. Bill. <laughs> with Bukaki Bill. As always, pray to the Dice Gods. I uh, hope they smile upon you and like subscribe press the little bell thing leave comments mark allen you know it's all good stuff take care guys toodles what? so guys welcome to part eight, eight. um part eight eight eight. 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 eight eight of broken rock as we were saying previously, if you have watched the video, which of course you have, because if you watch this one, you probably have gonna have watched the one before. You're not like, oh, I'll just jump into something eight parts in. Or maybe you fell asleep and this just came on on autoplay. This is true. If you so, could... welcome and wake up. Yes. <laughs> you could have been watching anything. Like you were watching a documentary about dolphins. That's how YouTube works. Yeah. They'll have gone dolphin, then they'll have gone sea, then they'll have gone tuna, then they'll have gone... <laughs> Fishing we'll and come, then we'll come back to this. We'll we'll do a flow yeah, chart. Yeah, eventually you would have got to our videos just by process of elimination. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. It's like a Kevin Bacon thing. <laughs> everything <laughs> everything comes back to broken rock. But anyway, so as you, as we were saying, the lawless roses have been saying some very disparaging things and yeah. laughing, especially at good old blindfold Bill there. Yeah. Um, so they, she, he called her out, basically. He said, don't care if you're a woman. Come outside and we'll settle this like people. So Is unlike, that gender correct? Well, unlike, yeah, I don't care that you're a woman. So unlike uh, the previous game where it was like, I don't see race, I only see gender. Yeah. This one's the other way around. It's like, I don't yeah. see gender, I only see race. This is true. So Cowboys are bad people. Yes. The oh. lawless roses have the drop. Yes. So they're going to see if they can come on from this side edge here, which you can see the white nothingness of the open plains, as opposed to that way where there's some kind of futuristic kitchen-like thing. <laughs> um, I don't know. No one in the town has looked that way before. <laughs> yeah. If they did, they'd be like, what's that giant thing? Do you think we could cook burritos? And they also never look up, otherwise they just see sort of... The whiteness of the sky. I was going to say your phone or... Oh yeah, that would freak them out actually, the leg going, I'm a tiny cowboy person, what's that giant iPhone slash Sony Why do I know phone? its name? Yeah, it's not an iPhone, because iPhones are wrong. Why are iPhones in our lexicon at this day and age? Indeed, indeed, but Sorry, again, right. we're babbling. Are we digressing again? As always. So Why yes. lexicon be in our lexicon to be back? Ah. Ah. Yeah, because yeah, it's, ah. it's a Latin word, so it would have predated the English. So. Yeah, but I don't, I don't big one oh, we've about. done it again! <laughs> we'll cut this. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> cut this. So, take two. Uh, we're about to play a game. There's some people facing off, some people coming in. Uh, let's see how that progresses. Dudes. 
So, in turn one, only two from each side came on. For me, it was the Bell Twins. And for Al and Anne, it was which two came on? Uh, it was Rick and Frank. Rick and Frank. They sound like builders. If there's any builders watching who aren't called Rick and Frank, you should be. Um, Change your names immediately. Yeah. So we're now going to do the drop, see if more people come on. As things stand, nobody's got close enough to them or taken a shot, so they're just standing. Basically, the old... It's not a Mexican standoff, because that needs three people, is that right? Yeah. So it's just a standoff? Yeah. What are you doing? Can we make it from somewhere else? El Salvador. El Salvadorian standoff. Yes. And he's finding things. So we'll come back once we've got some more people on and there's some actual action. So we're another turn in. All of Alan's posse has turned up now. Yep. Um, a couple more of my girls have. Little Britches is still conspicuous by her absence. That's a thing. Yep. And so is Debs. Uh, the two girls who were there from the start have gone, nah, we'll, a, we'll turn up later. It's it, fine. It's not so much conspicuous as it is just standard. Yeah. That she just doesn't like turning up to these things. She gets shot a lot, so it's... Ex <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, my posse got, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They got close enough that Kaylee could move. She moved and she took a shot at old Limp Wrist Bill. Blindfold Bill. Yep, Billiard Bill. Yeah. <coughs> Ballsack Bill. Um, <laughs> he's got loads of names. He's very handsy in his younger days. It's yeah. weird because his name's actually Simon. But anyway. Yeah, <laughs> so he took one wound off, but he's still kicking, metaphorically and literally. So we're going to move on into the next turn, see what happens. Yep. Hopefully, the rest of my ladies will turn up and it should just be a bloodbath. As is always the way when people fight Alan. Although last time, not so much on your side. No. You, you, you then maybe there's something in this new gang. Yay! Like I my mean, joke. Yeah. <gasps> but yes, let's see where we get to next. Mm -hmm. be a well, that was one of the more so eventful. Yeah, that was one of the more eventful turns. Um, not so much in terms of the actual gameplay. Uh, Lawless Kaylee C. She took a wound. Um, probably in like the knee or something. She's still got two more, so she's fine. And that was by um, Bumda Bill. Blindfold Bill. Yep, Blindfold Bill. Um, but the true story of that turn <laughs> was that Alan. No, don't tell people this. Story. Does not know what shotgun looks like because he took a pistol person, assuming it was nice. armed with a shotgun. Fake news. Fake news. It's not fake news. <laughs> like, I would be amiss if I did not tell you guys that. It's a proper factual fact. See? The witness to said. There you go. We're not BBC in it. This is not just <laughs> throwing out random stuff there. You know, Jeremy Corbyn's from Mars and stuff like that. Good old BBC in their That's news. I he was. Yeah, well, BBC told me he was, so why would they lie? This is actual factual knowledge. Alan did not know what a shotgun is. Worst part of that is he grew up in the countryside where what? everybody has a shotgun. But I didn't. I clearly... I just wow. had Ghostbuster toys. <laughs> and they didn't come with shotguns. They do have proton packs. They have proton packs. If it was a proton pack, I would know it straight away. But cool. No. Shotguns. Yeah. shotguns. Little Bridges did come on, though. Uh, not like that. That's not some kind of menstrual reference. I mean, she Patriarchy. just walked onto the board. Um, but Deb still didn't, so she might actually be cooking tea or <laughs> shooting people. I don't know. Laundry? Laundry. Um, just doesn't want to show up. <laughs> just like that. That's like a thing. That's male and female we're, 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 alike. Yeah, we're, they're we're, just, being, we're being too sexist. Oh. I said she was shooting stuff. That's she not might particularly. She's wrestling bears. I reckon she might be with a gun that big. What kind of gun is that? It's a shotgun, is that yeah. It's a shotgun. It is, it I is. I thought that was a pistol. Or I thought that was a bear trap. Or I don't know, maybe I'll just go home and cry again as usual. So, yes, what we learned from that turn is um, yeah, <laughs> Barry Manilow Bill <laughs> isn't a bad shot, bless him. Um, Gus, not Gus, um, wearing his black is almost invisible to Alan's naked eye. <laughs> You can't um, even in the floor, don't and you the other thing was the back. shotgun thing. Uh, so yeah, play. eventful. We'll go into the next turn. Hopefully Debs will turn up. Anarchy will ensue. And maybe we can find some more weapons. Alan doesn't know what they are. Oh man, dude. Indeed. You came and you bought me a turkey. <laughs> can't sing the actual words, otherwise it's copyright. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Don't sue us. 
Right, so Debs finally came on. Yay. That That's the main thing we learned. However, barely alive Bill. Tried to run into the crapper. He did, he tried to go for crap, but he couldn't quite reach it. Yeah. Um, so he, he decided to bow out. He got um, shot in the butt. He did. He was <laughs> running away and he got shot in the tuckus, um, which is the booty for those. Um, also, Kaylee C, for the first time in this campaign, has entered a building. Well, it's the first time anyone's entered a building. Or left a building, actually. Buildings have been largely ignored. Um, Just by pedestrians. Yeah, pedestrians are there, but we're using them as meat shields, which is <laughs> actually quite barbaric when you think about it. Yeah. But yeah, barely conscious Bill got shot. Mustn't seem um, unfussed by it, though. And he's down now, so he's lying next to the crapper, next to Sweepy McSweepinson. Which is old sweepy, <coughs> old sweepy for short. Um, yeah, so everybody's in play now. You've only got one guy down, so no yep. puck tests yet. Um, it's been uneventful so far. It's been basically Bill shooting at people and people shooting back at Bum to Bill. But now Bill's out. Yeah, so he's he's yeah out. So yeah, we'll go on to the next round. See where life takes us. Um, <laughs> and Kaylee might just stay in that building. There's like. Coffins. Uh, there's probably tea and coffee. Did they drink? Yeah, they did drink coffee. We saw it on that Western yesterday. Oh, yeah. They drink loads of coffee. They were very big on coffee. So, yeah, that's what I've learned from today. Um, let's get on the next turn. Let's do it. Oh, they reacted violently to having this basically. So, in the last <laughs> turn, um, what's this guy called? Oh, Rick. <coughs> yeah, Rick. Rump riding Rick. Rick. Rump riding Rick. Um, Randy Rick Coon. He took a bullet from the lady in the shop. We did, however, realise that the Undertaker's doesn't have a staircase inside to get to the upstairs. You have to go outside the building. Mm -hmm. So she's somewhat trapped. Um, she could go out the door, but that seems too obvious. But you, you barricaded the door with the coffins there, haven't you? No, the coffins are just where the coffins always be. How did she get in? Because there's a doorway. There's a Behind walkway. Behind the coffins? Yeah. Yeah, look, there's yeah. a full walkway. Okay. You know, we've been shooting at each other through it in two separate games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, From where I was sitting, I know. my angles were all over um, the place. Bowel oh. movement Bill hasn't done a lot. There he is. He's dead. No, he's down. He, I know, but he still hasn't done a lot. He's just stayed there being all bowel movily. Yeah. I'm, I'm standing by that sentence. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of shoes evacuated, but no hitting. Indeed, um, the 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 cardi is still empty. Not a lot's really gone on. One guy shot. From now on, Alan has to start You're taking plug tests. You're back. And and so <laughs> a, a wild Parker has appeared. Quick, somebody catch him. <laughs> I don't have enough Pokeballs for this. I'll see you guys in a bit. So, yeah, if you caught that, that was Alan flouncing. Uh, if you didn't catch it, uh, we'll, I'll catch him flouncing some other time. It does happen. Uh, the game ended, which was a good fitting ending for it. Um, Alan and his posse, the um, rogue back mountainers, uh, ran away, but they did it bravely. Spit in your palm and then run. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> nobody died. Nobody picked up any no. obscure injuries. No. Um, one of my toughs became a hero. Uh, she's a person of the people. Um, other than that, very little happened. Two new people got recruited to my posse, taking me up to eight now. I am the most infamous of all the gangs. Um, but not by much, I don't believe. Uh, what? My infamy... Is 89 now, and Dad's is 79, so there's 10 in it, and yours is 4? 77. 77, so there's still not a lot in it between no. everyone. Uh, your posse's still at 6 members, is that correct? Uh, 4, 5, 6, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah so... And um, after that, blindfold Bill picked up a bitter an en enmity? Enmity. enmity. He's turned into a sea an enemy. Sea an enemy? Yep. So it basically means he really doesn't like the Lawless Roses anymore. Um, Rightly so. And he will now succeed in any blood tests other than the Head for the Hills one. And that's if he's fighting them. Yeah. He's like, those darn Lawless Roses. 
Oh my goodness! That is disparaging, and my ladies will not stand for that. No, they just lie down. Easy, tigers. <laughs> the backs of what I was saying. This is all the kind of sexist remarks that I expect to see on, I don't know, white supremacist what? channels. Not mine. Yeah. No, we're, Ours, we're, we're just being yours. historically chauvinistic. Yes. Indeed we are. You, that's how they're spinning it. They're allowed to be male chauvinists because I'm it's the Old West. Acting. <laughs> but in real life, Alan does like ladies, but not in that way. He likes them <laughs> in a way where he keeps them in a bucket. In parts. <laughs> in the freezer. That's an exclusive. Indeed. That's an exclusive. Alan collects women's body parts and puts them in the freezer. But no, it was again, it was a fantastic couple of campaigns. Uh, we're eight parts in now. Uh, hopefully we'll start to see more gangs and stuff progress. I know there's other people painting up models now. Because um, we're getting quite so well known in for me wise. Uh, so it would be nice to see some of the smaller gangs start to build mm -hmm. up a bit of a reputation. And then start to take on Alan um, to get some easy victory points. Yeah. <laughs> um, because... I don't know. He's uh, just really unlucky when it comes to um, how much he sucks. I phrased that wrong. <laughs> I meant... No, I'm... Um, no, uh... Is, is bad? Yeah, so until next time, pray to the dice gods. I hope they smile upon you, maybe. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Take care, guys. See you in part nine. If there is a part nine, I, YouTube can't kick you off, can they? <laughs> yeah, you're nervous. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, like, for... Um, shooting women in a game. Oh, um, as long as you, it's in a review context. Oh, no, that's <laughs> fine then, that's fine. You didn't say any dice rolling, so it didn't really happen. Uh, but yeah, take care, guys. Toodles.